I, I think it's a shitty ass fucking habit. Like I don't think anybody should ever like, it's not something that's like, oh, start this, it's great. But uh, I think people can do what they want. So it's like, yeah, it doesn't really bother I me. I mean, it says on the box, like, basically you're gonna die. <laughs> it's like, uh, Morning, heart disease, cancer. <laughs> right? like the heart disease, cancer, emphysema, like it's all these things listed. So at that point, it's just like, if you if you know what it's doing to you and you still do it, then it's all like, yeah. just live your life. You know? My name is Sam. I am a smoker. I'm Lizzie, and um, I do consider myself a smoker. I'm um, Chelsea. I don't. I'm Elizabeth, <laughs> and I do not consider myself a smoker. I'm Nick, and I quit smoking a month ago, but I vape now, so I would not consider myself a cigarette smoker. My name is Samantha Sklar, and I do not consider myself a smoker. Tom Zizzo. I consider myself a smoker. I'm Melissa, and yes, I am a smoker. And I'm Sarah, and I'm also a smoker. Um, how often do you smoke? Ooh, lately? Like, pretty much a pack a day. About four to five times a day. Every day. <laughs> when I was smoking cigarettes, I smoked like half a pack a day. But now I just like cheap on this all day. Cigarettes? Uh, probably like four a day. A few times a week. Yeah. Depends on, I'm not really buying myself any more packs, so depends on if I can get any, but I haven't craved a lot in a while. I just recently started a couple of days ago, and it's been like almost every day since. I've been, I mean, on and off, there are times where I go a considerable amount of time not smoking, and then I'll just start doing it again. Usually when I'm here at Purchase, I do it a lot. Uh, <laughs> Because honestly, I mean, I don't want to say there's not much else to do, but sometimes that's how it feels, so. Well, the first time I ever smoked was when I was with this guy. I was 15, I think. That was the first time I ever smoked a cigarette, but then I stopped for a while, and I picked it back up when I was, I think, 17. I think I started, like, the second week of the semester. It was, you know, it was, like, January. I started, like, first week of January. I tried a cigarette once before when I was, like, 13. But I guess I didn't start smoking until, yeah, like a couple days ago. I started smoking in eighth grade. I didn't start smoking pot until late um, senior year of high school. I didn't start smoking until, honestly, I got on the Yeah, so like when you're drunk. Yeah, yeah when I was drunk. Yeah, like when we're drunk or messed up, like when we first started trying them. Yeah, they definitely like hit my bogeys when they've been drunk. Um, would you say there's like, not necessarily a click, but just sort of like a, this like group of people who like just hang out here like all the time? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, there are groups of people that meet up here a lot, more than one. There's definitely like a couple of groups, like some crews, but there's also some like strangers that come and hang out every once in a while. Oh yeah, no, we, you develop like friendships with the people like around here, like it's kind of cool to, um, to see how like you can build friendships and then that'll take you through the classes and stuff. Like a majority of the time, it's the same group of people, like I always know I could find somebody in that group at the bench, but like as of like not recently, but as of like last semester halfway through, like the bench culture kind of died down a little. Yeah, I hang out at the bogey bench quite a bit. I usually chill here pretty much every day because I mean I'm always out at some point. I've been hanging out here since the beginning of the year and come to know some of the people that sit here and so it's nice. It's kind of communal and it's convenient so. Well I made friends and my relationship really early on in the school year so like beginning of last semester so everyone that I was meeting and everyone that I was already friends with was hanging out here so I figured you know if, if they're hanging out here, I can hang out here also. But I do know a lot of the people that are out here, but I wouldn't say I was in one of the groups. Even though I don't smoke cigarettes anymore, like I'm still always out here, so, yeah. This is the bench, bro! <laughs> it's just a bunch of stoners who get together to smoke cigarettes. Yeah, I mean, we're all just a big bunch, yeah. We're like a stoner bunch, that's pretty much it. Um, what are your thoughts on the smoking ban for next year? You know, if the legal smoking age is um, 18 in Westchester County or wherever you know it is now, you should you should be able to smoke on your college campus. I don't think it's gonna work out. 
I really don't. The t <laughs> it's not gonna work because you can't just stop somebody from smoking. Like there's a ban on a lot of things. Yeah. Here. But it doesn't stop it. It doesn't happen. stop it. We're, we, we're supposed to think wide open here. We're supposed to be accepting here. Why are we going to... Smoking is a subgroup of people, in my opinion, and I don't really see how it's harming anyone. We have designated smoking areas. I don't see why these should go away. I think it's really strange that, like, we finally come here. We're supposed to be adults, and I think something that comes with that is being able to make your own bad decisions. And that's one of them. Like, you're not allowed to drink, but people sure as fuck do. And I think a 20 to $50 fine for doing something that silly is a little bit ridiculous. And I don't think it's going to be effective. I don't think it's going to actually work. Do any of you plan on or want to quit smoking? I do. We're all going to quit together. I plan to never start. <laughs> <laughs> all right, but right, um, right. It's, it's not really. Um, off to the best start. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I'm not uh, going to. Yeah, I'm definitely planning back to come here um, over the summer like a new woman. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> not at the moment. I hope uh, one day I'll just kind of be like, I'm over it. I don't really want to like have to be like, you know, uh, I can't do this or, you know, like something like that. Like, I don't want to be dramatic. But I hope that. I just kind of shrug it off at some point when I'm older. I want to quit smoking. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to. I'm hoping that this is like a college habit and that it goes away after that. But I have a feeling it's going to continue for a little while longer than that. I have no reason to quit this yet, but I, I, just, I quit cigarettes for health reasons, so this is technically better for you. So. I have no real reason to stop this. Technically, I quit yesterday. Technically, um, I quit um, about a month ago. <laughs> I don't Oops. smoke fairly often, and I'm I'm gonna have to quit because, like I said, I'm from California, so I can't actually buy these legally. So I won't really have a choice. But I'll probably still smoke like sporadically until then, and then when I get back. Yeah, my mother's kind of chilla. Uh, She'll have ripped me a new one if I go home smoking cigarettes. So I kind of got to quit before the semester ends, but it's a work in progress. <laughs> what are your like opinions on smoking in general? Not my body. If you want to do it, you can. I have nothing to judge. I feel like no one should be looked down upon because they smoke. Like people like look at a smoker and assume they're like a, a bad person or like they're dirty or all that. Like just mind your own business. Let people do what they want to do. If they want to smoke cancer sticks, let them do it. The things where it's it's ritualistic and once you get in the habit it's pretty hard to break because I think that it comes down to the fact that it's not just about the nicotine addiction, it's also largely a part of the culture. Like the people you hang out with and the people you meet because you go outside and smoke a stick with them.